I mean, what do you think is going on? We lost Cedric uh, yesterday, which was really hurtful because that guy was truly one of the better ones. It was a veteran, a family man, great personality. I mean, uh, what do you think is happening? I mean, I know he had complications with COVID in his heart, but I mean, it's been for the last two years, we've lost a lot of people, a lot. I'm like, I, I'm like, it's, it, it is, you know, some of the people that we've lost, I know it was for, um, which is, is kind of sad that um, social media um, contributes everything to, you know, steroids and everything. You know, some people we lost to complications, like, um, like John, you know, he had complications, you know, had nothing to do. And so when people say that, it, it kind of hurts my heart because it's just like, it's almost like people are celebrating when, you know, somebody in our, in yeah. our circle. It's like, see, know. I told you so. Right. See, I you told know. you so. And it's like, and it's oh, just you know. Like, you know, yeah. but even if it is or not, I'm like somebody dying, you know, it's, yeah. it's hurtful. But I'm like, for me, I'm like, I always wonder because I always, me being always been in track and field most all of pretty much most of my life and everything you know carrying around the 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 amount of weight that we have to with the muscle you know you have to you have to keep a strong cardiovascular kind of system and everything and so and i'm sure that when you post this you know somebody's going to say something crazy i'm like because nobody wants to hear it but you know it's it boils down to that that consistent kind of cardio activity you know a lot of times most bodybuilders only want to do cardio when it's time to get ready for the show mm -hmm. but you're still carrying around such a huge amount of muscle mass for your frame so you're taxing that you know that 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 body that system you know and i i think that between that and just always assuming that because we look healthy you know that we're not paying attention to all aspects of our, you know, of our health, you know? And that's why I tell people, I'm like, whether you're choosing to do um, some enhancements, you know, and I'm not, whether you want to or you don't want to, it shouldn't be a big deal. Just like people who choose to do recreational drugs or cocaine, look, whatever you want to do with your life, if you mm -hmm. want to drink, whatever, if that's the choice that you want to leave, that's fine. But, you know, I think that we're at a point right now that we need to start being more um, health conscious as in a lot of our brothers and sisters need to get away from the mindset. Well, I had my blood work done at the beginning of the prep. And so I'll have it done, you know, at the end of it, you know, as you as we get older and as you tax the body more maybe you need to check it more often mm -hmm. you know maybe mm -hmm. you need to look at more than just the standard stuff that we look at because you know th there's so much that our body you know does and goes through and how it interacts with one thing and I feel like a lot of times that we're so focused on one thing that this something on the side over here is what gets you yeah you know so I, I, I completely agree. And just to, just to break it down um, mm -hmm. for, for people that don't know what you, basically what you were trying to say is if your body is, if, if, you're, if you're naturally a 200 pound man mm -hmm. and you put a hundred pounds of muscle on, your heart, liver, kidneys, lungs are still for a 200 pound man. Precisely. And, that, and that extra weight is a lot of stress on, on those, on those it's extra work. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of stress on those organs. And now we see bodybuilders because diet is different, working out is different, supplements are different. We see a lot of bodybuilders getting into their uh you know, late 30s, early 40s and still yes. winning and so on and so forth. But th that's still years of stress on your Precisely. body. And you know, Cedric was 44, but for a bodybuilder, he was a huge human being. Yes. You know, yes, I mean, he was a juggernaut. I'm yeah. just like, he was a huge human being. Yeah. And, you know, Lee Haney retired, I think at 30 or 31, he was done. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, now bodybuilders are going into their forties, but that being said, you know, there, we still have things like we still have tragedies like Boston Lloyd and George Peterson and, yes. um, you know, uh, Dallas McCarver. Um, I mean, Dallas McCarver was before, COVID, but in the last two years, that seems to be the only common denominator is COVID, whether it's the vaccine or COVID, because, you know, I don't know if it has anything to do with it. 
but we've never lost this many people. No, we and, haven't. You know, but I'm like on both sides of it. I'm just like, you know, for somebody like Cedric, that's my mindset with him. But then you have other people where, um, like Dallas, you know, Dallas was the next coming, you mm -hmm. know, when he first came out. And I honestly feel that sometimes because of that, it's the social media hype. Mm -hmm. When all of a sudden the commentators and the fans are just like, oh my God, you're the, you're the next one. You're it. You're going to miss the living. They're from the camp of that person. All they're looking at, in my opinion, is sometimes you have those, those trainers and those coaches and I can't, I'm not putting it all on the coaches because I also believe that as adults, we have our own responsibility. It's our body. And the idea that you're just because some some coach or some trainer or whatever is saying, oh, no, you need to do this. You know what? Um, if we do twice as much, we can get just faster. And nobody wants to take the time. I feel like that's the one thing that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's the other aspect of it. There are certain people, it's the age and it's the whole thing that they didn't right. adapt to that. But then you have some people who they're trying to be the overnight success because somebody said they were the next coming, the second coming. Yeah. And instead of earning those bones like Dexter, like Phil Heath, like Ronnie, nobody looks at the fact that they lost for years. Oh, my God. No, and nobody, then, nobody knew Ronnie was. Finally, they finally got to that point and started winning. Yeah. So now you have all these young people that are coming into it. And yes, they have the potential. But instead of going through the natural progression, mm -hmm. they're going from being here to putting on 100 pounds of muscle right. and then trying to maintain it. Yeah. Trying to maintain that. Yeah. You know, yeah, the we see it. We saw it. We saw it. Brett Wilkins, Regan Grimes. Absolutely. We see it all the time. Yes. You know, and so I feel like that's the problem. And so all of a sudden, you know, they're just like, oh, they deserve it's just like number one, there's certain coaches that get that are being demonized, you know, because a lot of times also you have those who are doing because it's it's threefold. It's those with age, like you said, they're going into their forties, they're Dexter went into his fifties, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm Absolutely. just like and obviously the ones who are being smart about it and adjusting, because Dex always says it. He's like, he got to a point, he stopped squatting. He only, when he came to training legs, he only used leg press. He he adjusted for his age and his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. When people don't do that because they're too big trying to impress everybody on social media and the gram, you know? Yeah, but then yeah. you have those who, they've got the potential. And instead of just earning the bones, you know, and earning their place and going through the natural, they want to be overnight successes, you know, and then you have the other ones who their coaches are like, oh, that's great. You, you've got such potential, but we're going to go ahead and go this naturally. But then you have their gym bros. Well, dude, you know what? Just go ahead and do this because I heard. And so they're doing stuff on the side mm -hmm. instead of following their program. And all of a sudden things go horribly wrong. Or they're not telling their coach that they're having complications. Mm -hmm. You know, you're having a heart problem or you're short of breath. I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm going to go ahead and beast out. And so it's this whole thing. I'm not taking this serious because we look good on the outside that mm -hmm. we don't we don't we don't take we don't take care of the inside until it's too late. So but that's just my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's a, it's it's an educated and an experienced opinion from somebody who is on the inside of bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not coming from some you know asshole at the gym. Excuse my language, but you know, really, I mean, there's a lot of assholes in the gym. Yeah, like you said, oh, it's just steroids. This guy's just start taking steroids. I mean, it's it's no, it, it, I mean, like it's it's an indirect response right. to steroids you know like you said the, the tremendous amount of muscle mass that that is put on is the, is really the strain but um i don't know i hope that this is the last one for a long time because cedric you know cedric was special you know what i mean like it, he was a special one he really was he he was he was he, he was not your typical bodybuilder he was a family man he was a hard worker he had those old school family values um i mean yeah he had, a, he had a very good, he was, he was a very inspirational and he had a good spirit. And so, and it was, it was just, but it was, it was like, it was, there's been a lot that has just been so unexpected and just so heartbreaking because yeah. they were, you know, 
you look at him and it's just like, you know, it's, it's, it's really unfortunate. It, you know? it, sh- so. it shouldn't have been, it shouldn't have, it shouldn't have been him out of all the people, you know, he's not your typical, I'm going to hang out in the bodybuilding scene. He wasn't that guy, you know, no, and, and, exactly. and I, and, and he has children and that's, I could only imagine what his wife and his children go. I could only imagine. You're not supposed to, you're not no. supposed to bury your, your, your parents, your parents. I mean, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase your that. Children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, your, your children are, are not supposed to bury you at such a young age. You know, no, I mean, he's I'm only like, 44 years old. It's, it's, yeah. Not, and I'm I mean, like, but the, the bull was the same. I'm just like, and George, I'm just like, and that was even more heartbreaking. I knew him, but the fact that he passed at the Olympia, yeah. you know, it was just like, and he was, he's such a sweet man, such a good mm-hmm. spirit, you know, loved his, love his, you know, it's, it's like what you said is just, there's some of them that is just like, you know, why you just hate, yeah. right. You just hate that it happened. So, yeah. Like, you know, there were, there were bodybuilders. I'm not going to mention names. There are bodybuilders that have passed and you're like, well, that wasn't unexpected. I mean, right. you it's know, like, I mean, you know, look, look, you know, look what he did in, you know, look, he did look, look at his lifestyle. You know, he was a, right. He was a psychopath. I wasn't, you know, and then there were bodybuilders like, you know, like George Peterson or like, um, Cedric, where it's like, oh, really? Right. It's just no it, way. You open up and you find out, and it's just like it just hurts your it just hurts your soul. Cause like you yeah. said, I'm just like, not you. Not you. It's like yeah. some of it's just like, I'm surprised you made it this long. But then it's like others, you know, it's like so yeah, but. no, it's 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 the truth. And um, it's just you know, it's it's kind of like you know, Ozzy Osbourne, like, how the hell are you still alive? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you mean? know, you look at some people up sitting like, you know. You're sitting here and you're like you said, you're living this extreme lifestyle, you're doing this, you're doing that. And and somebody who is just they're good hearted, they're 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 inspirational, they're motivational, and they and all of a sudden it's just really it's just okay. And they're and they're they're how can I say this? He walked the walk. mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like He he didn't just talk like that. Uh, there was there were but there were bodybuilders out there that would talk a lot, of, talk a lot, and motivational and inspirational. And I'm a I'm a and as soon as they social, turned off social media, they were they, all they, right. They, it was just like they oh, were a, they know? were a piece of shit. Yeah, and then right, but then like, yeah, and, but he was truly like a, he was a, a devout Christian family man. Mm-hmm. I remember well, uh, I don't remember what show he was that he won. Might have been the auto class. I gotta remember, but he you know he won a few. And they said, "What are you going to do with the um? What are you going to do with the uh the, the prize money?" He said, "I'm going to finish building my kids the treehouse in the backyard." Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's just like, oh, man, you know, it's like you know, it's like, sad. I remember that and, show and, and, he won. I think it was right. the Arnold, and he brought his little, he brought his kid up on the stage, and it was, it was just like, you know, okay, because I do not want to cry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We'll, cha- we'll no, change it's the subject. Fine, but we'll you're right. I'm just like, all right, you we'll know, change the subject. So many good ones that it's just it does break your heart, you know that the ones that is just like you're the reason that the sport has gotten so much drama and why wow. won't they take you <laughs> just, <laughs> what, what kind what kind of commitment did you make with the devil that you are making <laughs> it's just like yeah you know? you're like you want to pray and god and you go god give us back cedric and uh and uh and we'll give you right it's just like so and so 